Yo, what is up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to be doing some expanded stuff. I know expanded is a little ways down the road, and people aren't really looking too much ahead of it, but everyone's giving. People are having some expanded challenges. People are having some expanded cups. Um, things are happening, and I keep getting requests on, you know, what's going on with expanded? What are you doing? Um, and Richmond is two months down the road, so we got time, but not too much time. So we've got expanded cups and challenges in the meantime. People are kind of fiending for how should I go about doing this. I know there's a Mew 3 Plume deck out there that I um I haven't really touched on. I haven't really looked at it too much yet because I also don't have any expanded coming up. I had a challenge that I was going to play this at, um, but didn't have a chance to go because I wasn't feeling too well. But this is the Mew 3 Jank deck that I've been kind of working on. If you guys have been following me on stream, you can kind of see where my thought process lies and how I've been kind of tinkering with this and getting to where I need it to be. So let me explain some of the fun stuff in the deck to you guys as we go. There's one Shaman and two Dedene. These are the support of the deck. These will get me there. And the one Lele. These cards will kind of get me the draw and the engine I need. There's one Altaria GX. Bright Tone is super, super good for creating a stalemate situation with a lot of decks that only play GXs and EXs, which is very common and expanded. Sonic Edge lets you shred through the effects, which is also really, really good. So having a shred effect and having a wall effect is really good on Altaria GX. Noivern is the main culprit of why we're going to be such a degenerate deck. We can use Distort in the early game for one energy and a D-Valley, basically a quaking punch on crack, and we're just going to be using Distort in the early game to kind of set up our board and get energies onto the board until we can kind of clean up everything with one-shots. Sonic Volume also just kind of beats decks like Zork and Radicate and these things that play only special energy because you can just get two energies, do 120, and they're stuck doing nothing. Um... Boom Burst isn't too great, but whatever. Uh, we have Gardevoir Sylveon to use Kaleidostorm because Kaleidostorm uh, is super, super good when we have a really damaged guy and we want to just move the energies off the Mew 3 and kind of set up for an Ace Roll the following turn or a Sky Return the following turn for one energy. Um, just preserve the energy attachments we have on the board. Uh, Magical Miracle can be pulled off, but it's very difficult because the deck doesn't run too many energy cards. So Magical Miracle is kind of a pipe dream. Uh, we have Gardevoir GX, which has infinite force. Um, this attack is super, super good because we can uh, attack something that, like an Archie's, like Whale Lord that's been powered up, or like a Buzzmosa, or something that has a lot of energies on it. And it's a cheap one energy attack that does a lot of damage. Um, and then Twilight GX is actually a pretty decent GX attack that we could have in our back pocket. Um, Lycanroc GX is in the deck because of the Dangerous Rogue GX attack. Uh, it is a very cheap and effect cost-effective GX attack in case your opponent fills his bench state against Turbodark. They go super ham, fill their whole bench up, and they have like a Grinder's Orc in the active, and they have Skyfield in play, you just Dangerous Rogue kill something. Pop it. Um, and having the versatility of Mew 3 and a very thick and tanky boy means that this energy, this attack can be done for one energy cost, or I mean if you have the, the Skyfield or something in play, you just take up two. So this guy, Charizard GX, is only in here for the GX attack because I think having a mill option is really good. The more I tested and expanded, the more I realized having something that's millable is good. And Raging Out uh, requires us to have two energies and just card the top 10. So we can even use Raging Out in the middle of the game to kind of just like establish a good part. Like just, just say like, hey, um, we're, we're taking control of this game. Uh, but for Buzzmosa is in here because Jet Punch is a pretty good attack. An Elegant Soul for 2 energies, 190 is a very solid number to hit on a lot of things in Expanded, because 180 is the magic number in Expanded, more or less. And then 190 plus Choice Band takes out Zork and some of these other big perpetrators. And if we do ever get to a position where I guess we are fortuitous, uh, fortuitous enough to Beast Game for the one extra prize, that'll happen. Then the second effect will never happen. <laughs> um, Magirna EX is in the deck because this prevents things like... Um, Redicate and Greninja and all these things. Uh, Cobalion GX is, all, GX is also pretty good, but uh, this card just take, takes care of like Greninja and stuff, which could be just game losing. Um, Jachi GX mostly, you know, cover the weakness for the mirror, that kind of stuff. Garbodor, whatever, you know, you know the drill. Um, Mega Glalie, this guy is pretty funny. Cryo Mouth basically just says, I'm going to do a fat amount of damage to you. 100, 150, Choice Band, 280, knocks out almost every Pokemon in the game. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much my like one card answer to taking out a big damage modifier. So that's the big bulk of the attackers. Let's jump into the trainers. I'm going to play two Battle Compressors just to make sure we get the stuff into the discard that we want to get into the discard. One Cherish Ball. I know it's a little strange, but we do have four Treasure and two Ultra Ball already. So I just wanted a diversified split. You could also go one Ultra Ball, two Cherish. Um, I'm just... Flip flop it on the balls right now. The one cherish will get you the Dedenes, the Leles, all these big boys up here, and your Mew 3s. 
uh, comp search because the early game setup is very important and we want to get things to the Discord. Dowsing won't really do too much, but you could probably play Dowsing also. Maybe, I think Scramble also could be worth a consideration. Um, one Field Blower because um, we don't want to lose to Garb decks. We don't want to lose to Parallel or something, you know. Um, and also, like, getting rid of Fury Belts and Choice Bands and whatnot. It seems pretty good. For Treasure because a lot of the deck can be found with Treasure. The Jirachis, the Marshadow, the Mew Mew, the Lele. This whole, like, chunk of guys right here can be found with the Treasures, which is very important. Four males because I think consistency is key and just being able to dig through your deck is important. Um, two Ultra Balls. I was trying with no Ultra Balls, then I realized that Ultra Balls are actually a pretty good card uh, because we want to thin stuff and we can get stuff like the Shaman and the um, other guys up here that may not be searchable otherwise. Um because we need a way to get Magirna and Shaman, I think, are the important ones. Four Via Seekers. Do you need I say more? Four D-Valley. I think D-Valley is very, very important. I was having three at the beginning, but I think four is much better. One Acerola, because, you know, you want to heal and just keep going. You could go up to two if you would like. Uh, one Faba. Deal with Garb stuff. Uh, Mir, even. Because you can Faba. You can set up a Faba lock where you can go Faba. And then you can use uh, Sonic Volume. And all of a sudden, their attackers are gone. One Guzma. One N. Two Juniper, one Choice Band, two Floatstone, one Hood. The Hood is for Garb and Muck, if you haven't figured it out by yet. Four Prism and four Rainbow. I'm essentially conceding the Mirror because I'm playing something like this if they're playing a Noivern. So I think that in the off chance that that happens, we just don't care about it. So let's get into a game, shall we? We're going to run, run a game or two. I think I'm going to try to get some gameplay videos out, try to make it so... Um, we all learn together kind of thing. Um, and then if I see a change or something I want to make as we keep going, you know, we'll, we'll make the change, right? Um, nothing, nothing to it. It looks like nobody wants to play Expanded today on this fine Sunday. Um, that's understandable. Expanded is kind of uh, in a place where, like, I saw a cup happen and it looked like Turbidark ended up winning the cup, beating, um, beating out on Zoro Garb, I think, in the finals. Um, because Zora Garb seems like a pretty good, pretty good deck, uh, to deal with, like, the Mew 3 and all these shenanigans that could be occurring. I feel like Zora Garb is a really bad matchup for this. So this start's pretty abysmal. Um, I don't really know how we're gonna do anything with this hand, especially because we have a lot of, like, I, I just, I just don't know what we're gonna do here. Um, okay, comp search, that's pretty good. So we can do this, we can do this. Uh, we're up against a fighting deck, so probably Hitmonchan Wop. That matchup is actually terrible for us. Um, well, we can just Lele N maybe, because I don't want to pitch these stadiums. So I think we're just going to Lele N. Or I could have just grabbed the N. I'm stupid. Uh, we're going to put down a stadium because we have four. And we're just going to try to force the issue. And uh, we're just going to Lele N. Uh, I think also, I mean, maybe, maybe putting on the Lele is better just because Marshad is very donkable here. And I don't want to be donked. So that's a, that's a potential reason to have that down. Uh, the other reason is just I'm an idiot. So here we are. Um, so this hand's pretty solid. We can chill on this. I can leave Marshadow in the active. And we're good. Um, now we don't have any of the attackers that we want in there. And if we had gotten the distort... We can still get the distort lock off next turn. If we get a little bit... Like if we can compress our energy. Um, and if we hit into the sonic volume in two turns. I think we're in a good spot because strong energies get taken out. Looks like a dojo comes down, so now we're missing one extra piece. We do have a blower, though, so in case he, like, goes Hitmonchan into a Wob Floatstone or something, I can just pitch it with the blower, and I'm in a good spot. Landorus, very interesting. I don't really know what that's trying to do. Hmm. Maybe it's, like, a snipe deck. Maybe maybe it's just adding that to a Hitmonchan deck. Um, and this does only active so i guess i guess he's just gonna snipe my bench for 50 i don't know well we'll see where this goes um and a let loose okay that's fine i guess this hand was pretty good but um i guess we'll take some more cards this matchup i don't know what my opponent's deck is doing this honestly doesn't make any sense to me but we'll figure it out shay is good mewtwo is good i might just shay and sycamore whatever i draw because i want to hit a compressor energy EXP share choice band. What is going on here? No floatstone? No floatstone. Okay. Ooh, another VS Seeker. That kind of blows, actually. Uh, we'll just draw cards. So, Rainbow. That's pretty good. We'll treasure away 
a VS. We're just going to Juniper anyway this time. I'm just going to do it this way. So we get the Distorter into the discard. Um, so it's just just dirty, basically. So we'll put a Mewtwo down, and we'll just Juniper. So we can start distorting if I hit the stadium. Yeah, we got the stadium. And I don't think I care about doing anything else. I have the distort. Um, yeah, and I already have a sky return potential setup if I wanted to. Um, and then I have, I know his hand has a choice band in it. So it's one dead card out of the five. I don't know what the rest of his hand could be. Maybe we just... Oh, he's going to Guzma. Here's where we just float stone and go ahead and sonic volume, I think. What is going on? So this moves there, I guess. Sure, that's fine. So we'll float this. This goes here. And we'll trainer spell. See what we get. Ultra Ball is fine. Let's just pitch these two. And we'll grab ourselves a Dedene, I think. Yeah. I could treasure for the Jirachi, which I think is also fine, and just get rid of that. The bench is a little bit gross. Um, um, we'll just get rid of Altario. Give ourselves another attacker. Maybe use E Euphoria. Um, we'll just Dene. Draw some cards. We do get a Blower. So we can get rid of this EXP share. I don't want a Fairy Song, though. No, please, thank you. Um, so we're going to go ahead. Look at all these attack options we've got here. Um... So we're just going to go ahead and Sonic Volume, I'm pretty confident. Let's just double check all our options. So we're just going to make it so he can't attach a strong energy and do a ton of damage to us anymore. So now his like, strong energies and DCEs, which I guess he plays, are now eliminated from the equation. So he can Power Cycle in for 80, but that's the cap he's got. So he can just keep Sonic Voluming and then eventually Sky Return, I think, is the game plan. Rengu? He's probably playing a Rengu in a deck like this. Nope, it's Buzzwall. Lily for six. Okay. So here, if we can find a way to get to a Guzma. Okay, never mind. We lost the stadium. Rockruff. Okay. So there's a couple of threats we got to answer now, which is unfortunate. Um, so I think with a rock rough is what needs to die if I can get a Guzma, which unfortunately doesn't look like I have a Guzma. So what we can do is we can bright tone and force him to, uh, bring this up in G exit. Or I mean, we have three energies in our hand, which is really not good. Um, Sonic Volume isn't amazing here. He's going to be doing 30, 50, 80. 120 for the knockout here. So let's treasure away the Ultra Ball to start. Just give ourselves some time to figure out what's going on. Um... Sky Return might be the most correct play. I'm not entirely sure. We'll do that. We'll just Sky Return, I think. Um, we'll just Sky Return into the Marshadow and just feed him a prize. Because I think I just want to preserve this guy. I don't want to give up too many prizes here. So this matchup seems a little bit unfortunate because it's a lot of one prizers, and one prizers doesn't seem good for Mew 3. Also, the fact that my bench is incredibly filled up. Um, <laughs> so we got we to see if we can, we can do something about this. I also don't have access to a Guzma, which is a little bit concerning. 
what I'm going to do next turn is, I mean, maybe I should have followed last turn. I think I should have followed last turn, right? Yeah. So he's going to take the knockout here. And now I can put you back down. I don't care too much. Okay, this is this is a little bit better. And then we can VS for the Faba. The question is, do I get rid of the stadium or do I get rid of the DC? I think DC is more important. I'm just going to go ahead and jet punch. Put damage here. So this is going to die for next turn, but I can also just Guzma this. If I hit the Guzma and take two prizes, skipping Beast, or Sledgehammer, sorry. Um, probably plays Beast Rings or something. Also really unfortunate that I'm down 3 VS, so I have one access to one left. Um, Guzma comes up. He's probably going to just knock out this or this. Knocking out either one of these three puts him in a position where all he has to do is kill this. Forget. Which means I have to Sky Return next turn, which would suck. He's gonna, I don't think he plays float stones though. Karate belt, what the frick? He's just gonna pass. Okay. So D Valley comes down, that's pretty good for me. Um, Where's your retreat? We're just going to retreat, and we're going to jet punch, and we're going to... We're just going to take out DNC, if we can. So this is, just, this is just setting us up, so even if he can retreat now and do something, I can just pop, pop the two. I don't know why I put the D-Valley down. Probably not the best idea. Um, he's down to the third dojo. That's a lot of dojo, dude. We're tied on prizes, though, so he only gets plus 10 from this. Which is good, but he's going to move the energy to the Rockruff, and then I'm going to go knockout, knockout. Um, but this still sets him up for a potential game ender, which is really scary. So, how are we going to. What is our win condition? What is our win condition here? I feel like I'm going to have to cryo mouth, right? So, I need to attach, attach to take the knockout with cryo mouth, but he can also just do this, bring this up. 60, 90, knockout on the Dedene. That's not good for me. What do we do here now? What do we do here? We're in a tough spot, guys. We're in a tough spot. I mean, I can take the two prizes this way and even it up, which means his karate belt still stays not live, which is good for me. And Karate Belt being on there means he only gets plus 10, 160. I have more than that, so I just don't bench anything. We're going to attach to active and chill, I think, because we have one rain. We're gone. No, let's just stick more. Let's draw some cards. I want to see some stuff. I want to see some money. The Cherish will grab you. 17 cards? Okay. That's that's something. We're giving ourselves options. We take two here. We can't beast game the bench guy for our two prizes. We can, I mean, but like it's not the ideal scenario. Um, it looks like our game is going to come down to almost certainly... Uh, I think I'm just going to have to use Miraculous Duo GX and heal if I can. I don't think I can heal, though. Because we have two prisms left at most as energies. So what do we want to do? He is going to Guzma, I'm pretty sure. So he, we're even on prizes. Or he's trying to, try to give me the prize. He's trying to feed me the prize. 
I don't want to take this prize. This is bait. This is 100% bait. I could be greedy, attach the choice band, Guzma this, and then jet punch, and then prepare for a beast game. Blower, he's going to blow his own karate belt. There's so many tools in this. Oh, my floatstone. Okay, that's fine. Lele. The problem with those one prize matchup, I think, for Mew Mew is a little bit tough because um, you need to be able to keep the energies onto the board. Um, if you're playing a version like Plume, you can lock them out of the game also, which is really good. But in our instance, we're not playing the Plume version, so we don't really know what's going on. Um, Mew 3 Plume could be a future video I do, for sure, though. I'll, I'll look into how I would like to build that if I do that. Um, this week, I'm planning on doing Mew 3 this, Expanded Stoice, and... Turbo Dark. Yeah. I think Turbo Dark is really good. And I think Turbo Dark is a deck that needs, like, can't be just, like, ignored as a deck. So, Cynthia. And he attached. So, Guzma here puts me in a super, super good spot to just pop this in the mouth. Two Flowstones are gone, though. So, how would I even want to approach this? I think I would need to hit the D-Valley. Or an energy off the top. Energy off the top makes life... Oh, I mean, I can... If I hit D-Valley, energy, I can just Raging Out here. Which is what I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to play for the Raging Out. Right? I think it is raging out, yeah. So this puts him in a position where he can win the game potentially. But we hit the energy. Let's compress her. D valleys in there. So all we have to do is just sycamore. And we have it. Right? We're just gonna sycamore. We're gonna do this. We'll do all our theatrics. So we're gonna sycamore for the whole deck. We got the two retreat. We got everything. We're chilling. We put the D Valley down. We hard retreat. And then we go one. Da, 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 bum, 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 bum. Raging out GX. And we win on deck out. See, I told you a deck out option is always good. I think it expanded. Deck out option is insanely good. Uh, that is the video, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like. Please remember to subscribe. Uh, follow my Twitter. Follow my socials. You know the drill. And I will keep up with the expanded content. Let me know if you liked it in the comments below. I'm going to try to keep putting out some awesome content like this. And thank you guys for watching.